and welcome back to the Corey Haim movie review. And this one's not a movie. <laughs> so we're up to episode 41, I believe. It could be episode 42, it could be 40. It's the one after decisions. Um, so, um, the two Corys as a TV show. Um, last night, I watched season one in one go. And then watched half of season two. So you know what probably the next video is going to be, season two. But I want to look at these two differently because they're complete opposite of each other. Now, first off, and the most important thing, why this is not available to buy at all, or to view, or to be on Netflix. If you think of Splatter with Feldman and Joe Dante being a demo and it's still being available on Netflix years later, and then stuff like this. Now, I'm in England, so a and &E is kind of a thing that's not really massive over here. Another victim of this is Chris Angel. Uh, Chris Angel's stuff is amazing. His stuff has never been released in England. You can go to America. I mean, I've been in California at uh, Amoeba Music before and seen Chris Angel seasons one up to five and think, I want these, you know what I mean? But and now DVDs are so expensive in some shops in America, but... You know, Chris Angel's another guy like that. And, like, again, as well, I think some of the recent documentaries on the WWE Network have been part of a and &E and uh, not on the network. And you think, isn't this why you buy the network to get these really cool-looking documentaries? And you go down the documentaries, and I was like, well, there's fuck all new there. Anyway, so a and &E, again, to Corey's. Now, I bought this off eBay a long time ago. Look at that. Someone's... Done a lot of detail on that. Disc one, just do his miss. The DVD player. But again, it's probably the only piracy um, DVD in my collection of the cores. Now it works, unlike decisions. Um, and I put it on, and I've seen it before. Um, and you know the theme tune, um, the situation, the time this was made as well. Um, I sat there and I really, really enjoyed it. I really did. And you kind of like, as a fan of the two Corys, you know, and obviously they did a few films together. Um, and, you know, this is years before we had the Rape of the Two Corys documentary and all that kind of stuff. Um, this is kind of like, just goes to show you, like, people are, like, Corey here and Fair enough have dropped off the map, but Feldman has worked constant, and he's always, you know, I mean, he's a lovely guy, um, and always seems to be clued on, even though a lot of people think he's completely batshit crazy. Um, and this kind of, like, does paint a kind of picture, and it, it seems to be very well written television, to an extent. Now, a lot of people go, it's not real, it's fake, it's scripted. I've had a reality show, and I can tell you this right now, there is guidelines, so you'd be surprised of how much looks fake and actually is real, especially, oh, the, how would they know to capture that on camera? Sometimes shit just happens. What you need to do is have multiple cameras and just basically put the right elements in the right situation, and again, have stuff in place for shit to go down. Now with the two Corys, um, I think that obviously it tiptoes around. You can see where they've got the rights to certain stuff and rights they haven't. I mean, there's no mention of Last Resort. There's no mention of Dream a Little Dream Two. You know, the 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 cannon fodder is blown away. Is not really mentioned. Um, but to see Feldman's house, and you kind of like you see Feldman's house, and it almost feels like Feldman's house for this is a total set. You know, because. Obviously, Feldman's son is completely nowhere to be seen in this and not even acknowledged. And I say that because of in the second season, they move house kind of thing, but it's a pretty elaborate house and someone who follows Feldman's work, I mean, you probably could afford a house like that, you know what I mean? But it's kind of like, it kind of looks like they've made the house just for the series, but again, that's what they would do. So anyway, um, it's great to see the chemistry and again, a lot of people say it's scripted. If this is scripted, you've got to give these guys credit because they've opened the door, they're willing for exposure. Um, they go on about him. Him is literally taking the ugly stick for this. You know, he's 
you know, the first season is very bubbly. Um, it's intercut well with wide screens and, you know, filling in the void and, you know, directing stuff in a way. Um, it's endorsed by Warner Brothers in a way because of their free exposure Lost Boys 2 gets within it. So, you know, there's a few cameos in it, like Jameson and Yulana. Susie Feldman is a massive part of it. So it's the two Corys and Susie, essentially, the show. Um, and it's the free dynamic thing. And I think it's, you know, it's, it's got some funny bits in it. Um, it does seem kind of like, right, let's just get on with this and let's see how it goes. And I don't, f like, for me, reflecting on this, like, there's one bit that I've laughed my ass off when I originally watched this, and I'm going to cut to it now because I laughed my ass off again when I seen it last night. I need to talk to you. What happened? Is Jake okay? I need to talk to you about Joanne. Your dog's fine. Your house is fine. That's fine. I have a thing I need to talk to you about. You don't know what I'm doing this, bro. <laughs> Joe, you are. Let me talk to my wife. Maybe I can squeeze in like an hour or two. That's right. We'll go down a run or two together. I need a pal out Something like that. I don't know what I'm going to do with her. Maybe she'll stay in bed. Send the girls up together. Mm -hmm. Just give her some money. If she has money, I'll give Joe some money. She's got money too. All right. I'll meet you downstairs in an hour. Okay. Thanks, man. Oh, God. See you soon. All right. Of course he has to show up my room because he can't leave me alone for five minutes. I mean, God forbid I have five minutes alone with my wife. I want my wife. Is that okay? Is that okay? Corey? Mother! Why is everything about him? That bit, the whole... <laughs> Just Feldman coming back in and completely venting his frustration and just, motherfucker. I loved that. I absolutely loved it. And that's just was one of the highlights of the show. But it kind of doesn't know where it wants to go because, again, it's, it, you know, it's a buddy friendship. But there's obviously some dark underlines. The stuff that, you know, when he touches a picture, it drops off. And you think, oh, I'll just try. Again, it seems really well kind of like this could work as a series and then we get to the second series which we'll talk about in the next video but like it's a first series one it, it's left with a cliffhanger but then weirdly it has a final episode that's a flashback that sort of like gives you a recap and sort of like shows you the highlights but then shows footage that wasn't so on so for an episode like that to be at the end it's kind of like why wasn't this released on dvd as a one-off DVD, you would put that in, and it's packed. There's loads of additional content you could have shoved at that. Um, some of the footage it's used has a very upbeat soundtrack, and then just has ludicrous stuff. But it has stuff like, again, Lost Boys 2 is a massive thing. It's foreshadowing some of it as well. Fellman's um, performance um, using the truth movement as well as building up. The birthday even gets a bit of a rub, and they're to support Fellman's little thing. So... Feldman gets a lot of exposure out of his stuff as well, but then him kind of takes the fact that, right, right, I'm an unworking actor and I'm unhappy. I say, well, you're making a reality show. So it's kind of like trying to follow him on his comeback thing, going, well, you're doing all right in the minute because you've got a reality show. But again, with The Lost Boys, it, you know, it tipple tapples around The Lost Boys. And it's very heartbreaking when Feldman tells um, him about Lost Boys too. Now, this being the first video, and I've just framed this today, after the disaster, this is the Lost Boys, the tribe, all cast signed, oh, and Feldman signed it there. Unfortunately, him has not signed it. It would have been golden if him had signed it, but I think you even have Autumn Reeser and Angus Sutherland and Tad up here signed, and then this guy on a motorbike, and then director. Um, you know, that's going to be my new project. I wish that came in time um, for when I met Jameson a few weeks back, because that would have been awesome to get Jameson and signed in it. But again, if you don't know the story about Jameson and Newlander and that, you need to see season two of the two Corys. So I'll see you in the outtakes. <laughs>
And I'll tell you what, without going too much into it now. Season one was funny. You, 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 like, as a fan, you're kind of like, oh, yeah, is this really what it's like and that? And then yeah, I think it's well edited as in comedy, trying to get the laughs and then trying to, sh like, really fast track you into this friendship, into a marriage, like, triangle thing. But I think, looking back at it now, you know, as I said, look, season one and season two are completely different. Last night, I think season two is fucking amazing, mind. And I'll talk about season two in the next video. So thanks for watching Running Through Entertainment. Goodbye for now.